Well guys, we're out here today. The old game fisher is uh, filling up with water for some reason. And when we get this thing apart, there's just four screws on top. It's holding in this pull start system. Don't take this screw out. Or don't take this nut off. This is what holds your assembly together. So, four screws out. Full start comes right off. Take the gas lid off. With your little keeper out there. And this ain't gonna just slide off because it's got a rubber grommet around the tank, but for the most part, it's gonna, it's gonna pop right up. I'm gonna put the more. Well, your kill switch is mounted on the inside here. We'll just hang this for now. Just a couple of little rubber straps and some keepage here holding this guy in. Get those loose. Get the tank out of there. As you can see there, that is all rusty water. Not sure where it's coming from, but we'll try and get it fixed. We have got us a new shiny blue gas line. It's got three filters with it. To get that shut off valve off the other one. I'm trying to do a little do it yourself like this off of Amazon and you know going out and buying a five or six hundred dollar three horsepower motor. Can't buy these game fishers anymore. These babies are hard to come by. Especially on Marketplace. Somebody has one, they think they're worth $1,000. If they're not in good running shape, condition, they're not really worth anything because you can't get parts for them anymore. It is extremely hard to get parts for these things. I'm on the carburetor there. I probably got in your way, but... Right there is where we tie into the carburetor. We're on. This gas line's a lot smaller than the last gas line, so it's helping me out quite a bit. These guys a little twist they'll usually pop well they'll usually pop off it does have an arrow on here so it is directional This gas line's a little tighter, but a little cramps are tight. Hope we got it up there. Filter there. 
guess those barbs. We'll get us another one of these crimps on here. We'll go ahead and throw another one on for the shut off. Got one barb. Get it past the second barb. There we go. Get our crimp slid up. We're shut off right now. But we'll be in business here shortly. Feed the other end of that filter in there. Hey, Sammy. Pull that crimp down. All we have to do is attach that back to our fuel tank. I'll be back. We'll go ahead and get this thing strapped back in. Now these straps are just held on by a little by a little square end. This tab's bent over like a candy cane. You just hook this thing on. It hangs there. Same thing on the bottom. That's it. We're back in place. Now let's see if we can get this fuel line hooked up. Cramp. Don't forget to cramp. Alright, we'll get this uh, get back on here. all the way up. See if that crimp get in place. And we're pretty much done. All we gotta do is put it back together. Give you some close-ups of this stuff. You see the, the tank straps. Not much to the motor. A little carburetor we're hooked up. This was the old setup here. The old setup. Couldn't find anything to replace it. It had a fuel water separator. Guess that's why. You know, but this works. I've got a waterproof cover for it now. So that's pretty much it. Let's get it back together. Takes a little finagling. Not too bad. Make sure our bolt holes are lined up. Put our pull start back on. Try and get it lined up because it is hard to see. Okay. All right, she's already choked off. We'll go put a little gas in her. Cause it ain't got no gas in it. 
see if we can't get her to fire up. I ain't sponsored or any of this, but I like to use this pre-mix fuel. It's ethanol free. It already comes 50 to 1. That's good for these small engines. This thing runs forever on a tank of gas. I didn't even spill a drop. Couldn't do that again if I tried. But let's go ahead and get this lid back on. Tighten it down. Loosen up the old vent cap here. She's already choked. I'm gonna open her up. Let that fuel get through here. Here it comes. Put her in the start position. Give her the bean. Well, there you have it. That's how you take care of it. I'll show you guys how to check the fluid in her. Is go in your shop and find your 10 millimeter wrench. Not this top screw. Not this bottom screw. This bolt right here. That's where you fill in drain on this one. I'm already taking loose. Keep that clean. Set it off to the side. Here, I've got some quick silver 90 weight. And the old baby medicine syringe. Do my best not to make a mess here. Well. That didn't work. How about we just go ahead and pull the old prop out of the way? All it is, got a little cotter pin, pull it off. Just want to make sure your keyway stays in there. Well, guys, looks like she's full. You can tell, because now when we put it in, it's just running out. Put a washer on it. And she has got fresh gear oil, so. As long as that spark plug don't burn out, I shouldn't have to do anything for a whole year to this baby. too tight just snug don't want to crack that housing i guarantee you, you ain't gonna find another one you're gonna line your prop up with your keyway here just push it down on there get it to sit in get that old cotter pin back in that's it man 
She is ready to go.